Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, working on the calendar and came across something really interesting that I wanted to share with you guys. This is how Pope Gregory, whose name in Hebrew Gematria equals 666, that same Pope who had a winged dragon for his family crest, the guy who created our modern Gregorian calendar, actually took tabernacles off of it. He actually deleted tabernacles for that year. Let me show you what I mean. We're over here looking at an article on Britannica.com that talks about the modification made to the calendar year 1582. That is the year when the Gregorian calendar went into effect. And what it says here is the most surreal part of implementing the new calendar came in October of 1582 when 10 days were dropped from the calendar to bring in the vernal equinox. It goes on to say that the church had chosen October to avoid skipping any major Christian festivals. And then it says that October 4th, 1582 was directly followed by October 15th. Well, let's look a little closer at those dates. Now we're over here at a moon calculator where we can punch in the date 1582, particularly September of 1582, and look at when the new moons fell. Now, there was a 0% moon on September the 16th. Of course, that wouldn't have been seen anywhere in the world. And even on September the 17th, it was only 3% illuminated, which means nobody would have seen the new moon that night either. It's only on about September the 18th that they would have saw 1.8% of the moon illuminated, which would have made September the 19th, the first day of the seventh month. That would have been the date of Yon Teruah, or the memorial of blowing of trumpets, the first day of the month. But look what day the 15th day falls. The date when tabernacles will occur, it would have started on October the 3rd. And then a week long celebration, it should have lasted until October the 10th. But when you look at the days that they deleted, they deleted almost the entire week. In other words, there was no October 10th in the year 1582 when Pope Gregory implemented this calendar. So that day, Shemini Estoret, or that great eighth day, was deleted from the calendar altogether for that year. It makes it real odd when it says that the church had chosen October to avoid skipping any major Christian festivals. Well, they skipped probably one of the most important biblical festivals of all time. So the actions of this pope could explain why the pilgrims left the Church of England fleeing to America in pursuit of religious freedom. We can see this talked about in the article Thanksgiving in America in Wikipedia, how they celebrated the first Thanksgiving in October 1621. This would have been the Feast of Tabernacles. That's why it was a multi-day celebration. It was the biblical harvest celebration of tabernacles that they came to America to celebrate as part of their religious freedom. But that didn't last long because they immediately fell under the persecution of the American government, including George Washington, who on October the 3rd, 1789, made a proclamation to change tabernacles into Thanksgiving. Looking back at our moon calculator for 1789, we see that there was a 0% moon on September the 19th, with the first possible sighting of the new moon a day later, that means that George Washington made that proclamation the day before tabernacles began. That means that at almost at the exact time that tabernacles started, George Washington made a proclamation to change the whole festival to the modern day Thanksgiving. But then when we move ahead to 1863, we see that Abraham Lincoln made a similar proclamation on October the 3rd and going back to our moon calculator for 1863 we see that that date fell in the middle of the Feast of Tabernacles but 
those were only proclamations by presidents. We have to come all the way to 1941 when the U.S. Congress got involved and fixed the date of Thanksgiving to the last Thursday in November. Well, we see that they did that on October the 6th in 1941. Coming back to our moon calculator, we see that there was a 0% moon on the 21st of September. The first possible sighting would have been on the 22nd of September. Two weeks later, the Feast of Tabernacles would have started on October the 6th. In other words, Congress chose the very first day of Tabernacles to change the date to what we know as Thanksgiving. Do you think all of this is a coincidence? Let me know what you think in the comment section. So what do you do if, like me, you've been celebrating Thanksgiving and these other pagan holidays all of these years? Well, the third testament of the Bible tells us when we find ourselves in this situation to do charitable deeds other than learning how to live within the law. That's the most important thing we can do towards our salvation is to do charitable acts towards our brother. The other thing we could do is get ready for Hanukkah. That biblical festival is celebrated in the same manner as tabernacles. So let's prepare our fleshly temples for that festival of dedication. And make sure you subscribe so you can get more information like this as our Father in Heaven, hallowed be his name, reveals it to us. If you got anything out of this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button, but leave me a comment either way and I'll see you down there.